Hey guys, it's Kelly Schmidt, registered dietitian and owner of Kelly Schmidt Wellness. I had the honor and opportunity to come to your Orange Theory Fitness Studio to give a wellness presentation for your launch of the Transformation Challenge for this year. And if you weren't able to make it, I more than understand. We are busy, times are tight, and Sundays are harder to uh, fit it all in. But I wanna make this video for you today. I'm going to provide some resources below in the comments section. And I wanna give you three tips as you head on your transformation challenge and overall just aim to improve your health this coming year. My tip for you, number one, is to choose foods historically, not calorically. You know, eat foods that you love, but that love you back. I always encourage my clients to put pen to paper and write down what you're eating, but collect that information for over a week and try to zero in on how those foods are making you feel. How do they affect your digestion? How do they affect your mood? Um, how do they affect your sleep? Um, so capture what you're eating on pen and paper and choose foods historically, not calorically, because you want to eat meals that make you feel good. Um, secondly, Make sure you diversify your diet. On average, Americans eat the same nine to 11 foods a week. That's crazy. But the more diverse our diet, the more color we eat, the better our gut health. And the better our gut health, the better our set point weight. So you wanna make sure you have a good gut, um, good gut bacteria, and you wanna feed your bacteria color and fiber. So aim to eat you know, a plant forward diet, not I'm not suggesting vegetarian necessarily. I want you to eat a plant dominant diet, still high quality animal protein and seafood, but eat that color, eat that fiber. A lot of people think whole grains is really high in fiber, but vegetables have you know up to eight times more fiber. So reach for those veggies, um, reach for those berries, reach for the good fruit, eat things you love. So that's number two. Number one, eat foods historically, not calorically. Number two, diversify your diet and eat color. And number three, eat with the sunlight. It's a beautiful sunny day here. And, um, you know, our body, our hormones work better when we eat with the sun. So if you happen to have to eat a late dinner because you're working late or whatnot, eat a lighter meal. So if you eat late, eat light, but for the most part, try to plant three consistent meals throughout the day when the sun is up. You know, when we eat later, I'm a type one diabetic. I have a device here in my arm and an insulin pump on my hip. If I eat the same meal at 6 p.m. as 8 p.m., exact same meal, exact same calories, exact same amount of carbohydrates, I need almost 20% more insulin to cover that later meal. And that also turns off fat burning overnight. So eat with the sun. Um, try to have consistent meal times throughout the day and have three solid meals that can carry you from one meal to the next. Um, weight loss, fat burning, um, maintaining muscle mass can be accomplished better with three meals versus small frequent meals throughout the day for a number of reasons. And I explained all that in my presentation, but I don't have an hour with you here now. But those are my top three tips. If you have any questions, comment below. You can also reach out to me at kelly at kellyschmidtwellness.com. And I wish you all the luck this year and that you compete with an earlier version of yourself. Maybe that you win the contest, but you're a winner within itself if you just inch your health 1% forward um, as consistently as you can. Take care. I hope to see you around. Bye.